Hi, my name is Vadim, and I'm happy to present our work on semantic image synthesis. The goal of semantic image synthesis is to generate diverse and photorealistic images from a given semantic label map. So far, impressive results for this task have been achieved with generative adversarial networks. However, these models suffer from two major limitations, which we solve in our work. Firstly, it is difficult to train a generator only with the adversarial loss from a discriminator. To achieve satisfying quality, previous methods additionally employ perceptual loss. This loss extracts deep features from real and fake images with a pre-trained classification network. The distance between these features is minimized to bring fake images closer to the real data. A common choice is the VGG network pre-trained on ImageNet. The VGG loss helps to stabilize the training and strongly improves image quality of previous methods. Despite the benefits, the the VGG loss comes with the computational overhead introduced by an extra network. Moreover, in our experiments, we show that it biases the color and texture distributions of images and greatly reduces diversity. Therefore, in this work, we answer the question, how to achieve high quality without the perceptual loss? Our model is based on the previous state-of-the-art model SPADE. SPADE uses multiple discriminator networks at different resolutions, as well as the VGG perceptual loss. Note that the label map is used as input to the discriminator. We find it inefficient as the discriminator can ignore it and form its decision only on image realism. To incentivize the discriminator to learn semantically aware features, we propose using the label map as a target, not input. So we cast the discriminator task as semantic image segmentation, correspondingly altering its architecture to an encoder-decoder structure. Thus, the discriminator plays an adversarial game trying to predict one of n semantic classes for each pixel of real image, while a fake image is categorized as an additional fake class. Such segmentation-based discriminator provides richer training signal to the generator, so the perceptual loss becomes unnecessary. The effect of the proposed discriminator is a notable performance gain, even without the VGG loss. The name of our model is OASIS, as it needs only adversarial supervision for semantic image synthesis. Compared to previous models, OASIS achieves better visual quality of generated samples, with color and texture distributions closer to real images. Our model produces plausible results even for complex scenes, where semantic classes occupy large areas. As we show in the paper, we achieve an average improvement of 6 FID and 5 MIUU points over the previous state-of-the-art performance. A desirable property of a model for semantic image synthesis is multimodality. That means the generator should be able to produce diverse images from a single label map. Previous work observed that the solution to feed a noise vector to the generator leads to reduced diversity, as the networks tend to ignore the noise. To this end, we introduce a novel 3D noise sampling scheme that achieves improved diversity and provides fine-grained control over the generation process. At every training iteration, we perform the following steps. First, we sample a 3D noise tensor and concatenate it with the label map. Second, this composite tensor is used as input to the first generator layer and also fed to intermediate layers through spatially adaptive normalization. In effect, the noise is not ignored as it directly modulates activations at each generator layer. By resampling the 3D noise globally, we are able to generate different versions of the same scene, for example of a bedroom. As our 3D noise is spatially sensitive, we can also sample different noise for different regions, which allows to change objects locally, for example, only the bed, without affecting other objects. Here we put more examples of the global and local resampling of an image. The global strategy changes the whole scene, while the local resampling allows editing of selected semantic regions. As we show in our experiments, our 3D noise sampling scheme allows higher diversity than previous methods. Our 3D noise also allows resampling arbitrary image regions. This works because the generator is sensitive to noise that is sampled independently per region. In summary, we present OASIS, a new state-of-the-art method for semantic image synthesis that uses only adversarial supervision. The key components are a novel discriminator that makes the perceptual loss unnecessary, and a new 3D noise injection scheme that greatly increases diversity, also allowing local editing of images. Thank you very much for your attention. For more details, please check our paper.